to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the brand new Bison RC car. Now, this was sent over by GearBest.com. So, for your very own, check out the link down below in the description, as well as the coupon code as well. Now, this here is one of the fastest RC cars we reviewed yet, if not, is the fastest, in which it goes almost 50 miles per hour. So it has a nice low center of gravity, as well as a fully adjustable wing. Not to mention the car itself has a brushless motor, so it does give it a lot of oomph. Now, I'm really excited to go ahead and open this up, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here is our box in which it's actually quite large. Uh, it does show the RC car here over some kind of rock terrain and also shows the Bison Extreme 4x4 edition. Now, the one we have here is just this regular uh, brushless off-road truggy, which is actually just as fast, so I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Now, it is made by V-Car Racing. Uh, it's actually a pretty well-known brand in terms of RC cars go. And, uh, and then this, this one here is actually a 4x4 vehicle, so it's all the wheels do move. And then as you move around the box itself, on the bottom here, it kind of gives you a comparison between the two vehicles. Uh, so the one we have is just the regular Bison, uh, in which it has a 30 by 60 millimeter motor, uh, the brushless motor right over here. Uh, and it's got a waterproof uh, brushless 60A uh, speed controller. And it's got a performance 7.4 uh, volt 4000 mAh uh, lipo battery. And it's got an advanced radio system. Now, in comparison to the extreme, uh, the brushless motor on here is 36 by 70 millimeters. And it's got an 80A uh, speed controller as well. Uh, now, on this side here, we'll show the car itself. It's kind of uh, doing a wheelie as it kind of takes off. Uh, it says uh, unruly speed and massively amount of fun. So I'm definitely excited to see it being lived up to its name. Now it is an RTR so it's ready to race uh, and it's waterproof as well so you can take it over just about anything. And it's electric so do keep that in mind as well. And then over here it talks about the features of the particular RC car. So it's got all terrain tires, it's got LED lights, it's got a fully adjustable rear wing, uh, it's got a secure wheelie bar set on the back. Uh, it's all bearing throughout and it's a powerful uh, Furo electric system. And it's fully assembled, ready to race in sealed uh, tunable limited slip differentials, as well as oiled filled Ultra AL shocks with progressive dual springs. So you get a lot of different things going on with the price that you pay, so definitely a great vehicle overall just by the sound of it. So let's go ahead and open this up and check that out. Uh -huh. So you just see the RC car here on the top with all its glory with a bright signature orange. Uh, and then, you know, you got some stickers as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and lift up this bad boy and see what this one is about. Wow, it's actually quite heavy. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side for now and then uh, see what else is in here. So we got a box here. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, check that out. Here is our wing. Uh, it's the fully adjustable spoiler that we go ahead and mount on, which we'll do a little bit. So we'll put that to the side for now. And I believe this here is our, uh, that's our remote control. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this will just open up just like that. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so here is our remote, very standard remote set. Uh, so we got our steering over here as well as our throttle. And we got our full adjustable uh, steering trim as well as throttle trim on the top. And then in terms of battery goes, it takes four double A's. Do keep that in mind. And then down here we have our adapter. Uh, do note that this particular one, you do need a converter. So that's just something to remember. And then over here we have our charger itself. So that plugs into the battery. And you can always use a universal one too. You don't have to just stick to what they give you. Uh, and then down here, we have our instruction manual. So this will kind of give you an idea in terms of if you, if you break apart, how to replace it and how to order it. And then you have some decals as well to go ahead and customize your own bison and just kind of make it look very personable. And then you got some tools as well for adjustment goes. So let's go ahead and put the stuff to the side and actually take a look at the RC car because that's what this is all about. All right, so, whoa, right off the back, this thing's got a lot of weight to it. Uh, you got some nice looking tires here on the side. Uh, it's got a good amount of play in terms of the suspension goes. So I can imagine this thing will take some great jumps as well. Uh, you got the wheelie bar on the back here in case if you do do a wheelie, it'll keep it straight just like that so it doesn't do a flip over. Uh, and then, yeah, so let's go ahead and take these pins off here and see how it looks underneath. So here we go. So we got a nice looking nut over here. So this will actually protect it from any kind of dust uh, and keep everything nice and clean. Uh, here's our brushless mortar over here. Uh, and then we got our battery pack as well. And everything just looks very nice and compact. 
Uh, you can see the suspension over here. Everything's made out of like a nice aluminum material. You can see the way it's actually compressing that this thing is actually a really nice high quality piece. And then on the front here, we do have our LEDs. And on the back here, we have our LEDs as well. So we have brake lights as well as headlights on this thing. So it'll give you a good idea of proportion on where the vehicle is at what time. So let's go ahead and install our spoiler next. All right, so now that our spoiler's installed, we can go ahead and install some stickers on this thing too. All right, so our body is finally done and this thing looks really cool. I love how you can customize it the way you like. Uh, we got our spoiler mounted as well and then uh, yeah. So you can see that when you turn it on that the headlights work just like that. And then you got some tail lights as well right there just to kind of give you an idea where you're going. All right, well there you have it. This car is something else. It's actually a lot of fun to drive and it does give a nice spin on RC cars itself. If you have any questions about this particular car, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye bye.